Hey, Lucas here. We're gonna today look at the performance on this uh, Colchester Colt variable speed lathe. We're gonna do a taper test on it by turning this uh, section of cold rolled steel. And uh, well, it's gotta be about 14 uh, inches between the, uh, the centers here, or the outside and the, and the chuck, the, the tailstock and the chuck. So uh, we're gonna take a look at that. I'm gonna just double check the uh, tailstock set over before we start, and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so uh, check the tailstock set over. Uh, I got it down to like around a thousand over, I don't know, 14 inches or so. So it's very good, and uh, I'm gonna check next, uh, and we'll show this with my micrometer, we'll look for the taper. And then we'll look for uh, hourglass or barrel shape on the turn diameter. And uh, we'll be using this uh, nice uh, Minotaio 1 to 2 inch micrometer, fresh batteries. Everything's good to go. Alright, so I got uh, 1.5253 there. We're going to measure it about here, about halfway. One point five two five four. Five two five three. So actually, uh, well, let's take a look at the at the uh, caliper itself. So the caliper has got uh, you know decimal places out to the uh, and it'd be ten millionths if it if it was a full digit, but it's actually either a zero or a five. So this caliper is a fifty millionths caliper. So we got less than one ten thousandths. Uh, the uh, the error was uh, was in that uh, fourth position there. So in the ten thousandths place, we had a couple of tenths difference along the uh, along the length of this. So actually, uh, it's really uh, really remarkable. Okay. So the length uh, that we tested was about twelve and a half inches. So, uh, boy, I'd say that's that's pretty darn good. Tense uh, barrel shape over. <clears throat> so anyway, I'm hoping that uh, the video will help uh, uh, establish that the lathe is in good condition and uh, ready to go to work. All right, hey, this is Lucas. This nice old Colchester lathe. Signing off.